Welcome back. An elementary part of the Gaia X uh, are the national hubs. How exactly are they structured? What are the targets and who is invited to join? The following impulses open the doors of the national hubs for us and invite us to get a sneak through behind the scenes. We will start with Italy, one of the countries which have seen quite early the opportunities which Gaia X is offering. We feel honored to get their support and are interested to hear about their next steps. It's a really great pleasure for me to welcome now Miss Paolo Pisano from Italy, Minister for Innovation and Digitalization. Buongiorno e benvenuto. Good afternoon. I would like to thank Dr. Boris Otto for convening the Pan-European Gaia X Summit and I'm glad to be part of this conversation. I wish to greet Minister Almayer, Minister Le Maire, Commissioner Breton, Under Secretary Jansenberg, and all the distinguished participants who are attending the summit. The need to define digital autonomy at the European level stems from the relentless digital transformation of our socio-economic system that is imposing new and coherent governance methodologies and international cooperation frameworks. At the global public cloud and data services market is currently largely dominated by US and Asian companies, European governments and industry players have become concerned about using no European cloud and data services. We must build a European cloud and data infrastructure to strengthen Europe's data independence since the almost exclusive dominance of the no EU suppliers on the cloud market has a potentially detrimental implication on the security and EU citizens' rights. Against this backdrop, what is Italy's contribution? We attended the Gaia X virtual conference to discuss the initiative from providers and user perspectives. Together with the Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Energy, we organized the German-Italian workshop on Gaia X, in which uh, quite a few Italian companies took part. We participated and contributed to the webinar at the European Cloud Federation, which was organized by DigiConnect. And finally, on October 15, Italy signed the joint declaration, building the next generation cloud for businesses and the public sector in the EU. Today, on this occasion of the Gaia X Summit, we restate our interest in supporting and joining the initiative with substantial and concrete actions. In the last months, in order to raise awareness among the Italian companies, we work together with Confindustria, the Italian Federation of Industry. By now, 28 major private Italian companies have already joined the Gaia X project. As we did in our country, we are committed to seek support and interest from the other member states. We reiterate the commitment of the joint declaration to work on technical solutions for federating European cloud capacity, and we aspire at playing an even more active role in this regard. Why is joining so important to us? As in many other European countries and in the Union as a whole, two features distinguish the cloud in Italy. Low uptake, only 50% of our firms use cloud technologies and high dependency. 60% of cloud services used in Italy come from non-EU providers. Let me also add how crucial it is to transform our strategic ambition into action. 
Italian government is aiming at devoting substantial investment under the next generation EU fund to accelerate cloud uptake in the public sector by promoting a cloud-first approach. In this uh, perspective, the European Cloud Federation acts as a meeting point for discussion between a plurality of European cloud platform, of which Gaia X represent the core operator in terms of security, interoperability, protection and portability of data, both for digital government platforms and for digital businesses services. In the pluralist perspective, we have extended the invitation to Italian companies to become members. The crucial role European companies play in the effort has been acknowledged at the EU level with the institution of dedicated Gaia X hubs. These hubs are open to all interest companies with the shared goal to pull skill and resource in order to create data spaces and data ecosystems. Italy has embraced such an approach and uh, Confindustria is working on establishing a dedicated hub in partnership with our most important companies and in harmony with the other hubs in the other EU member states. The Italian hub is planning to be functioning at the beginning of the next years. Furthermore, Italy is supporting the deployment of the important projects of common European interest, IPCAI, focus on infrastructure, specifically on promoting European cloud ecosystem to support and complement GAIA-X. Now, more than ever, we need political vision and cross-country cooperation at the economic and technological level. I look forward to continue to work with Germany, France, all the European member states, the European Commission and the other institutions in furthering the development of a European Cloud Federation. We live in a digital world and the lives of European citizens are becoming more and more digital every day. Therefore, we need to make sure that our European principles and value are always at the core of digital life and of the experience of all European citizens. The EU should remain open but self-reliant. We do believe that the EU should be a driving force in global technological development play its role in a partnership of equals. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, the Italian Minister for Innovation and Digitalization, Ms. Paola Pisano.